Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brian. I am going to be doing a Dutch pour, and I've decided to do it on a diptych, two canvases, and they're going to be split. I'm going to do a white tops, yellow bottoms, and then I am going to um, kind of make a giant U shape. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. Might be a little too much. We'll see. Um, but hey, you know, it's only paint. You have fun. That's what it's all about. All right. I'm going to get you down on the canvas and we'll talk about the canvas sizes and the composition and the colors. Be right back. Okay. So what I have here is two 12 by 24 canvases and I am going to be flooding them with titanium white and the bottom is going to be Amsterdam's Azo Yellow Deep. And then the other colors I'm going to be using are Amsterdam's Pyro Red. Amsterdam's turquoise green. I'm going to use Amsterdam's brilliant green. Pebio's iridescent blue black. Pebio's iridescent red blue. Amsterdam's magne manganese blue. Almost said magnesium. <laughs> Deco art pink tourmaline. And finish it up with Amsterdam greenish blue. All right, so what I did not paint the sides of the canvas, so I'm hoping the yellow really comes out okay. I don't want, if I have to come back and paint the sides, I will. A lot of times what I'll do with the colors like yellow is I will paint the sides beforehand. So we'll see how well that goes. So I'm not going to do a lot of the yellow. I'm only going to use about here down. So I think what I'm going to do is put a little line here so I'll know where my line's going to go. There we go. So as I said, I'm going to kind of do a, a U this way. So kind of make them pedal up that way. That's the goal. That's the plan. We'll see. All right. So let's torch this for air bubbles first.
Okay, let me bring you in here for a close-up. I absolutely love these colors and how they play with each other. Look at the cells here, but I'm worried that I've left too much paint on the canvas. Also, these yellows, it's green start to mix and it gets muddy like right here. You can see that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow some more paint off of this, these two canvases and then see what that looks like. So, all right, I'll be right back. This is not completely dry, but it's almost dry, so I can't really hang it on the wall yet. Um, but I absolutely love how this came out. I had had too much paint on the canvas, and so off camera, I took the hair dryer and I re-blew it and brought more paint off of the canvas. So let me take you in, and you'll see, excuse my dogs in the background, they're playing um so you see where the greens really start to almost muddy up like right here with that yellow but it really turned out much better than i anticipated with uh you can see there that it's still wet um and so i just blew more paint off of the canvas um do I think maybe if I would have used a regular yellow instead of this azo yellow, maybe things might have been a little more brighter, but I love how muted these colors turned out. And of course, once I get resin on them, they're really going to pop. But look at the pops of color over here. And I'm loving the composition. So it's so funny because the way it's set up now, this is the way I created it. But if I flip it around, it looks like an M. This way, it kind of looks like a W. And this way, if, you, if I flip it upside down, it kind of looks like an M. So I don't know. It's kind of neat. Uh, we'll see how once it completely dries and then I put it up on the wall, see what it looks like. All right, everyone. Here is the dried result. I cannot say how much I love this enough. What's funny is I forgot to tell you guys, this piece right here is the first try at my collaboration piece with my good friend Mark over in the UK. However, after I did this piece, I thought I wanted to go in a different direction for our collaboration. So that's why I did the piece that I did for Mark. I'll bring you in for a close up and you can see the vibrant colors just mixing in here. Um, it almost got a little muddy, so I had to be careful. Um, I did blow a little more off camera because there was a lot of paint just pooling up there, um, especially down here in the bottom. So as you see down here, as I get down here, it starts to get a little muddy in there, but um, I just couldn't be more happy with this. I love this right here, how it comes up off the end there down here so you can see where it start to fade out a little bit and then so I blew on this side the same way so I made sure I got it all symmetrical so as you can see these two pieces meet exactly at the same space the coloring pretty much the same going down love it love it love it um, here's the bottom the color stayed a little more so here it didn't get as muddy as it did over on the other side um, and then we move up again, color combo, just beautiful, just beautiful. Um, I didn't get a lot of cells with this. I did a little, but not a whole lot. So, and that's fine. I don't always have to go for cells. Um, got a few in there, but overall just an amazing piece. And it's so funny because I, I turn it over. Then it just, right now, if you wanted to look at it as a letter, it kind of looks like a W. If I flip it over, then it's obviously going to look like an M. So it's kind of cool. All right, guys, if you're interested in this piece or any of my pieces, as always, just email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think of this piece, good, bad, or ugly. Doesn't matter. Just let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post some new video content to my channel. All right, everyone, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.